Welcome to our channel Medicos Learning Dex. Here we will discuss easy mnemonics, high yield topics and integrated revision of topics related to medicine. So let's start. Today's topic is vectors of diseases. We will see the images and also some mnemonics to remember the diseases and their vectors. So let's start. First starting with different kinds of mosquitoes okay so first is anopheles then is culex then is aedes mosquito so we will see what are the diseases uh, carried by them and also some mnemonics for it okay first let's identify this is anopheles mosquito it is a fresh water breeding mosquito and sits at 45 degree angle see this there will be a 45 degree angle to the uh, to the uh, skin and also it has spotted wings so by these things we can identify the from the picture that it is anopheles mosquito and the disease which it carries is malaria disease uh, carried by anopheles is malaria Anopheles is also known as this sophisticated mosquito sophisticated mosquito because uh, as it does not sit over uh, the skin directly and also it breeds in fresh water breeding so that's why it's also known as sophisticated mosquito next is uh, anoph uh, anopheles larva anopheles larva they do not have this siphon tube they do not have this siphon tube absent siphon tube in anopheles absent siphon tube in anopheles so they have to lay, uh, they stay in horizontally to the water surface level see they lie horizontally to the water surface level we will later see what is siphon tube and uh, which larvas have other uh, siphon tubes okay so uh, remember absent siphon is for anopheles absent siphon for anopheles now next come culex culex mosquito is also known as nuisance mosquito so it will have a hunchback appearance and it's a sewage breeders that is in dirty water so this is the picture of this is the picture of the culex mosquito now here see these have a siphon tube culex larva have a siphon tube so they do not have to lie horizontally to the uh, uh, water tube for air they can breathe in through this siphon tube so see culex larva will have siphon tube anopheles do not have siphon tube so they have to stay horizontally to the water level now what are the diseases which is carried by culex mosquito the diseases which are carried are bancroftian filariasis japanese encephalitis west nile virus and viral arthritis so the mnemonics is bj wala virus bj wala virus b for bancroftian filariasis j for japanese encephalitis wala is for west nile fever and virus is for viral arthritis so these are the diseases carried by culex mosquito now next comes aedes mosquito it is also known as tiger mosquito so now first let's see the picture see this is a aedes mosquito as it has spotted like uh, uh, wings and spotted like body that's why its name is tiger mosquito and it's a daytime breeder daytime biter and it's mostly breeds in the artificial water artificial water places so now let's see the see let's see the larva of aedes mosquito so aedes mosquito will also have this siphon tube they also have this siphon tube so do, they do not lie horizontally only anopheles will have absent siphon tube that is no siphon tube so they will lie horizontally aedes and culis will have the siphon tube so now let's see the diseases transmitted by aedes 
diseases are dengue, rift valley fever, yellow fever and chikungunya. So the mnemonic is dry chicken, dry chicken. D for dengue, R for rift valley fever, Y for yellow fever and chikungunya for chicken. Another mnemonic is also danger zone, danger zone. See, uh, it's also known as tiger, no? So tiger is, uh, if a tiger is present, that means sister, it's a danger zone. So D for uh, danger, D for dengue and zone for Zika, Zika virus. So dry chicken, that is tiger, tiger will eat dry chicken and wherever tiger is present, it's a danger zone. So these two other mnemonics for Aedes virus, Aedes mosquito, sorry, Aedes mosquito. So these are the other vectors and the diseases transmitted by them. So one is one is thrombiculoid mite, one is louse, then is soft tick, hard tick and rat flea. So we will see all the other diseases and the vectors of them. Okay. First starting with rat flea. Rat flea uh, the disease is transmitted the mnemonic is bench okay b for bubonic plague e n for endemic typhus c for chigarosis and h for hymenopsis demunita hymenopsis demunita so this first let's identify this this is the picture of the rat flea this is a picture of the rat flea so the uh, disease is transmitted on bench b E N E N remember endemic typhus is by rat flea E N and epidemic is by louse we will see that later epidemic typhus is different from endemic so endemic is by rat flea epidemic is by louse we will see that later see now coming to louse now coming to louse the disease is transmitted on mnemonic is PERT P E R T so first P for pediculosis, E for epidemic typhus. Here it's epidemic typhus. R for relapsing fever, relapsing fever epidemic type, and also T for trench fever. T for trench fever. So, so the mnemonic is spurred. Now let's see the diagram of this. See, this is the image of louse, and spurred is the mnemonic for the diseases transmitted. Remember here epidemic typhus. An endemic was by rat flea. Now next come mite or thrombiculite mite. The mnemonic is PSM. PSM. So P for pox or rickettsial pox. S for scabies or scrub typhus. And M is the mite. Okay. M is the mite. P and S is the diseases. P is for pox, that is rickettsial pox. S is for scabies or scrap typhus. See, for scabies, the causative agent is different and the vector is different. The vector is thrombiculite mite and the causative agent, I will show you the picture later on. Okay. See here. So, this is the diagram of a mite. See, this is the diagram of a mite. And the diseases carried by I are scrub typhus, rickettsial pox, and uh, this is a um, this is the mnemonic PSM PSM. Now see, this is a diagram of Sarcoptes cabi. Sarcoptes cabi. This is the causative agent of scabies. Causative agent of scabies. But the vector can also be sometimes this thrombiculite mite. This is the causative agent and this is the vector. Remember this. Okay. So this is the diagram of scabies. This was the diagram for mite, thrombiculite mite. Now next comes sandfly or phlebotomus. Sandfly or also known as phlebotomus. So how can we identify this? See, hairy wings are present. This have hairy wings and a red colored body like this. So this is the picture of a sand fly. The diseases are uh, carried by is mnemonic is sook, sook or uh, sock like that you can remember. 
so s is for the sand fly s is for the sand fly o is for oriental sore another o is for oraya fever k is for kalaza k is for kalaza so s o o k is the mnemonic s is for the sand fly o is for oriental sore o is for oraya fever k is for kalaza so next comes hard tick and soft tick so first let's identify them then we will see the diseases transmitted by them so this is a diagram of a soft tick and this is a diagram of a hard tick so see in this head is visible head is visible in this head is not visible so h for h head visible is for hard tick see here this is a soft tick head is not visible here the little head can be seen this is a hard tick so the mnemonic for soft tick is q r s q r s so first q is for q fever r is for relapsing fever endemic type and s is the soft tick s is the soft tick so the diseases are q r q fever that is q fever remember that is it's mostly airborne but if it is a vector carried then it is mostly soft tick okay so q fever relapsing fever endemic type these two are uh, carried by soft tick then hard tick hard tick it also has a variety called uh, uh, exodic tick exodic tick so uh, as i told before h for hard h for head seen so the mnemonic is tickle baby tickle baby and also hard as rock hard as rock so rock is for rocky mountain spotted fever rocky mountain spotted fever tickle baby is for t is for tularemia i is for indian tick typhus c for colorado tick fever k for kaisner forest disease l for lyme's disease e for ehrlerosis baby for babesis so let's see here once again soft tick was for qrs qrs so q fever relapsing fever and s is the soft tick so hard tick is for hard as rock that is rocky mountain spotted fever and tickle baby so t for tularemia e for i for indian tick typhus c for colorado tick fever then k for kas kaya uh, sanur forest disease L for Lyme's disease, E for Ehrlerosis, B for baby for babesis, babesis. So, so now let's see these three. This is a diagram of house fly that is Musca domestica. This is black fly. Black fly transmits onchocerciosis, also known as river blindness. So B for B, blindness by black fever. so river blindness is carried by black uh, black fly sorry sorry for the mistake black fly is uh, uh, transmit river blindness so blindness for black black so black fly by river blindness this is a diagram of cc fly cc fly transmits the sleeping sickness c s s sleeping sickness okay and the causative agent is trypanosoma brucei trypanosoma brucei so this is a diagram of cc fly and trypanosoma brucei cause chagas disease c c for chagas disease brucei causes chagas disease and the vector transmitting is red bit bug so this is a diagram of red bit bug and this is a diagram of cc fly so this is for trypanosoma brucei the disease caused is chagas disease this is for sleeping sickness the causative agent is trypanosoma brucei and the vector is cc fly sleeping sickness is cc fly okay this uh, red bit bug is also known as kissing bug which transmits the chagas disease 
this is the tatum this is also known as kissing bug thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful do like share and subscribe to this channel to get more videos of this kind